Injury first and hailing from Cambridge, New Jersey, weighing in 188 pounds, it's a silent assassin, Rob Marsh. Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little disturbed by that last video that we were shown by Sid. I don't know where he gets off attacking the character of Ethel the way that he has just tried to do. He brings up those points about how Ethel didn't hit anybody or whatever, but he leaves out the parts where Ethel fought and scratched and fought his way to the WAW Championship, to the Team Championship, to winning Apocalypse in 2003, and to winning Lord of the Ring in 2004. I think if anybody falls for any of that propaganda, they're just uh, they're out of their mind here. Captain Vincent Sorello! Captain Vincent Sorello now being announced to the ring, and he will be accompanied by the injured and not medically cleared Major Morpheus Morenzi. It was last week at Lord of the Rings that Captain Vincent Sorello was the replacement for Major Morpheus Morenzi in the WAW Championship match. And here tonight, Captain Vincent Sorello. Rob Marsh and the Jersey Devil will all have opportunities to challenge the WAW champion next week. Well, the Jersey Devil is more like a wild card. He's merely here to prevent people from getting title shots. I suck, I get it. Next loser, come on. Now, making his way to the ring, Haley from Pine Barrows, New Jersey, weighing in 150 pounds. He is one half of the team championship, the Jersey Devil! And now about to make his way out towards the ring, as said by ring announcer Peter Lebrie, is one half of the WAW team champions, the wicked one, the Jersey Devil. Guess he's relocated himself in New Jersey, no longer from Atlantic City. Now hailing from, I believe it's at Pine Burrows. Not quite sure, couldn't really hear the ring announcer. Somebody get him a microphone. The man needs a microphone, he needs to be heard. Peter Lebrie, the man needs to be heard as he introduces the participants here tonight. The Jersey Devil, one half of the team champions, thus uneligible for a title shot here tonight. Here comes Marsh and Dorello, and this match is underway as the Jersey Devil is flung right out of the corner by Marsh and Dorello. Double kicks to the chest. Dorello taking the place of Dangerous, who's spending some time in cell block 45 in County Jail. And now we got Captain Vincent Dorello and Rob Marsh using a full metal jacket move on the Jersey Devil. Kicks to the ribs there by Zarello and Marsh. Picking the Jersey Devil up. Looks like they're trying to get themselves on the same page here. Double arm ringer on the wicked one. Captain now pulling Marsh aside. Irish whip reversal by the Jersey Devil into the corner. Here he comes. Haven't seen that one in a while. The corner pocket into the diamond dust. Wait a second, he gets caught on Rob Marsh and... Down they all go, except Captain Vincent Zarello keeps the uh, offensive advantage there. Marsh with a stomp to the back of the head of Zarello breaking up the pit. This is three men's sudden death here on Aftermath. Captain Vincent Zarello, he's brought up in the air and dunk an arrow. This could be over, it could be over now. Two and a wicked one there with a kick to break up the pit. Jersey Devil now waiting for one man to get up to his feet. Rob Marsh is up on his feet. And he gets kicked right in the back. Here we go, dueling kicks. Both of these men have extensive martial arts backgrounds. And they are trading those open kicks right to the back. Here comes Zarello, misses the clothesline. Double kick right to the side of the head. Both sides, double drop kick there by the Devil and Rob Marsh. Marsh there with a kick to the stomach. Coming off the ropes and shining wizard to the back of the head of the Jersey Devil. Off the ropes, shining wizard again. Going after Zarello, taking him down there. 
Marsh rolls over Zarello, goes after the devil. We get a cover, we only get two. As Rob Marsh only gets a near fall, going on Zarello, two. And once again, only a two count. Rob Marsh now gets caught. Wait a second. Capsize time. Here we go. He's got him up for the capsize. And we get a DDT instead. The Jersey Devil spinning things around. We get a DDT on Zarello after that capsize attack. Devil waiting behind Zarello. Going after him. Knee to the stomach. And Whiplash takes him down. Jersey Devil now picking up Zarello. Kick to the stomach. Shot right to the spine, drops him down. Rob Marsh now on his stomach. Rolled over onto his back as is Zarello. Wait a second, could it be? It's been a while, double deuce. Wait a second, he gets caught. Zarello and Marsh catching the Jersey Devil. Double Irish whip off the ropes. Jersey Devil catches himself. Rob Marsh now sends Zarello flying at the Jersey Devil into the walk of the plank. Zarello now trying to hang on. He didn't really hang on. He continues to grab, kick to the chest of the Jersey Devil. Zarello now trying to pull him out to the floor, and he does. Jersey Devil lands on his feet. Here comes Ferenczi going after the Jersey Devil on the floor, coming blows to the back in no man's land. Here comes Zarello. Flying drop kick takes the Jersey Devil down. That's right, that's how Pinny's getting rated out. Wait a second, oh my goodness! Double knee right to the face of Captain Vincent Zarello and his feet go into the face of the Jersey Devil. Unbelievable turn of events there. Jersey Devil now being thrown back into the ring. Major Morpheus Ferenczi checking on Captain Vincent Zarello. Come on, Jersey. Jersey Devil now working himself out of the defense into the offense. Reversal by Marsh. Spinning back elbow by the Jersey Devil. And one more time. Takes Marsh down with a spinning back elbow. Waiting for him to get back up. And we get a scoop slam takeover by the Wicked One. He's calling for the top rope. Could be tied for a corkscrew headbutt possibly. He's heading up. Oh, and Captain Vincent Zarello hangs him up on the top Shut rope up. and takes the Jersey Devil down. Marsh now in the corner, going after the Jersey Devil. Looks like he's going for a suplex. Wait a second, Zarello's here. He's going for a power bomb and power bomb suplex. Everybody gets taken out. The Jersey Devil, Rob Marsh, and Captain Vincent Zarello all get taken down. Captain Five. Vincent Zarello now, the first one to start stirring. Two. And he's back down. Three. He's trying to get back up to his feet. Rob Marsh and the Jersey oh. Devil are not recovering as fast. Rob Marsh now finally oh. sitting up. Jersey Devil now trying to get back up to his feet. All three men battling from their knees. Training punches back and forth. Now everybody up on their feet, continuing to trade those punches back and forth. Each man looks a little spent and a little tired. Complete shot, catch into a first DDT. Rob Marsh and Captain Vincent Zarello both go down there. Zarello now picking up. Well, he was picked up by the Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil now heading up. He could be going to walk the top rope for that arm bar. Here we go. And he catches Rob Marsh and takes over Captain Vincent Zarello. What a maneuver there by the Jersey Devil. And he looks like he's getting that offense together. Looks like he's charging up. Could be time for a New Testament. Sweeping the legs out, no New Testament involved here. He just scooped the legs of Captain Vincent Zarello right up from underneath him. Oh, and a throw right down to Captain Vincent Zarello. Rob Marsh's head colliding with Zarello's. And now the Jersey Devil heading up to the top rope. Now it could be time 
Corkscrew headbutt down on Zamolo and Marsh. Now he looks like he's getting that charge together. Now it could be New Testament time for the Wicked One. Boot to the stomach. He's got the arms hooked. He's going off of Marsh. He gets shoved into Marsh. What's Zarello going to do with the Jersey Devil now? He's got him hooked. Trying to punch him. It looks like the kidneys. Going for a backslide? No. Marsh and Zarello, they're going to go for the lockdown. And they hit the lockdown. This could be all. 2 all and a kick to the skull of Captain Vincent Zarello by Rob Marsh. Covered by Marsh. Two and Zarello's there with a punch to the head of Rob Marsh. You guys ready to be impressed? What's Zarello doing now? Heading up to the middle row. You suck. And in pressure, he gets caught by Marsh. What is Marsh going to do here? He's got him. Dragon screw takes Rob Marsh, excuse me, takes Captain Vincent Zarello nearly out of his boots. Rob Marsh now going up to the middle rope, going up to the top rope. Could it be double stop time? He gets caught into a sidewalk slam by Zarello, and he only gets a two count, does the captain. Zarello now with a boot to the stomach of Marsh. He's going for the capsize. Could it be no? Marsh, he's hooking him up, trying to go for that new move. I don't even know what he calls this move yet, but it's plenty devastating. And he hits it on Zarello. This has got to be all for Captain Vincent Zarello. Rob Marsh is going to challenge the WAW Championship next week if he would just go for the pin, but he's not going for it. Zarello now is down. Marsh is hooked. Here we go. Oh, we get a new testament as the mass referee got kicked in the head by the Jersey Devil. We get a cover. One, two, three. Marsh is down. The Jersey Devil should have this match won. But alas, he kicked the mass referee right in the head as he was going for the New Testament. Here comes Captain. Oh, shot right to the head of the Jersey Devil. Wait a second. Captain's hooking him up. Going for the capsize. And down on Rob Marsh. Capsized by the captain. Here we go. One, two, and three. three, and the captain, Vincent Zarello, he's going to get yet another WWE Championship opportunity next week here on Aftermath. I don't believe that Captain Vincent Zarello winning with just a foot over the chest of the Jersey Devil and Rob Marsh. Rob Marsh was out of it from the New Testament, and then Captain Vincent Zarello hits the capsize on the Jersey Devil for the victory here this week on Aftermath. Rob Marsh and the Jersey Devil both down. What a valiant effort for both men, but unfortunately for them, it is Captain Vincent Zarello who is going on to next week, and here comes another man going on to next week, Joey Staples, coming out to check on his payback tag team partner. Wait a second, what the hell's going on here? Joey Staples picking up the Jersey Devil, and close line from Southley. That's what we'll call it for now until Joey Staples corrects me. Payback now going out. Oh, lay the boots, fig not figuratively, but literally. And wait a second, here comes Rocco, rushing the ring to save his tag team partner. The Jersey Devil was on the receiving end of a two-on-one beating there. But Rocco coming out to even up the odds, as he said, up against Payback, who quickly retreats out of the ring and now heading back to the locker room as Rob Marsh suffers a defeat, as does the Jersey Devil. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, it will be Captain Vincent Zarello, Katie Doobie, Effo, Skylar Phoenix, and Joey Staples all giving chase to the WAW Championship, which will be decided next in our legacy flashback. Freaking Flash and Todd Sopo for the WAW Championship up next.
The amount of disrespect I have been shown tonight is re goddamn ridiculous. Over a year ago, freaking Flax, you won the WAW Championship at Legacy, but you got lucky. Tonight, you have no rules, no gimmicks, no stipulations to hide behind. That was a best of five series. Tonight is what I do best. I'm the best pure wrestler in WAW, and tonight is a wrestling match. Tonight, I will out-wrestle you. Tonight, I will out-brawl you. Tonight, I will take what you value the most, and that's the WAW Championship. And oh yeah, Flax, when I do take that title, you don't get a rematch. That's right. Oh, you, you didn't know that rule? Since you beat me, and I'm gonna beat you later tonight, you don't get your rematch. I'm going to Legacy to face Carnage, and I will become the first person to break the Legacy curse that you talk so highly of. So tonight, freaking Flax, I have only two words for you. <laughs> I'm unequaled.